On this occasion, the saviour has come from the unlikeliest of backgrounds. A man whose auspicious career has taken in England's lowliest second and third division towns. Where are you going? We're going to follow the way. And yet, it is this man who's now restored the pride of the entire nation. And what's more, we beat Argentina. England went on to beat Romania and France in the following rounds before eventually losing to Brazil in the semi-final. Ultimately, the cup was lifted by the host nation, the universally acclaimed kings of world football. Bassett returned home a hero and was immediately offered a four-year extension to his contract, but he declined. It was the end of an era for the English game. A new chief executive took over the board and brought in a foreign manager. England manager, Vim Fledermaus. Hello, England. I am a big fan of your footballing. As for the players, they enjoyed mixed fortunes. Gary Wackett retired from football to join the media. Having come away as the World Cup's top goal scorer, Rufus Smalls was offered back his captaincy on a question of sport. While Kevin Tonkinson retired and went into management of his local pub. Good luck. Let them come at us, hit them on the break, down the line, cross it over, boom, take that one. 224, please, mate. And what of Mike Bassett? He moved to Bolivia, where he became manager of the national side. He's working hard to become fluent in the international language okay, of football. Let's go. His Bobby Moore nightmare like has been replaced by a happier dream, where he chases a minuscule Maradona around the Maracanã stadium, shouting, ha, 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 we got you back. He and his family remain in Bolivia to this day. This is how I feel in the summertime. This is how I feel in the summer. Anybody else? Maybe Korea, Japan. Japan? Yeah. What about England? Uh, England qualify? Yes, yes, England qualify. This is how I feel in the summertime. <laughs> this is how I feel in the summertime. 